Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Again, sorry for the uh, long, long wait, but it's we're back with a new one. So um, this is a little bit of a different one. So it's almost like a tutorial in a way. Um, to the best of my ability, I will try to do this. Uh, so I will be hopefully showing how to do putties in two specific ways. I've seen the most, my preferred way specifically, and then also the way I've seen it done a lot by guys who want to recreate British Army, British Infantrymen, or British Soldier in general, or oh, British military, really, during the Cold War period. So basically from the very late 50s all the way up to the mid 80s or so, with the use of putties, specifically short putties. Um, so for this ex example, I will be showing two different methods. So the first one ooh, I will show on my right foot again it does look reverse in the camera so this is my right this is my left <coughs> excuse me um i will be showing the most common method on my right foot and i'll be showing my method my preferred method on the left foot um the preferred method i do is what i was taught um by my father as well as some other guys, set, some other guys, etc. And then obviously the most common method is what I will show first. So specifically, you see this done with sixty pattern trousers, sixty eight pattern trousers. Um, in this case, I'm using lightweights, um, specifically the pocketed kind, the matte pocket kind. Um, you see this with trousers over all greens, etc., etc. Any time you see basically DMS boots, so ankle boots with a DMS sole you probably see putties as well. Short putties, about three foot long. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Typical of my videos, the cough is present still, along with more cough due to a cold, so it's even more fun. So I will show you the more common method now on the right foot. So this method basically involves the tucking in of the trouser to the putty as one piece. It's a quick method, but I find it the most uncomfortable, especially when sitting or doing any movement, it becomes the slodge, but this is the most common use, so I will show you now. So let me just adjust my trouser leg. So you want it down at least as far as it can go, really. I am sitting, obviously standing, you would normally have more to play with, but this probably is the best way to do it, sitting down, obviously, just because it's the best way to get the what the effect will be when having the boot down so if that makes any sense so you basically want to be tapering the trouser leg to the boot itself in a way but i'll redo that in a second so bring up the putty so anyone who hasn't seen putties before basically it's a long piece of woven cloth um that comes in different colors this specifically is a khaki green um in terms of European putties in general, but British ones specifically this kind of colour. Um, this is three foot long. It's been over sewn this end um, to reinforce, and it's a comes to an arrow point on the other side with a tape, as you can see here. The way I've rolled it up, the tape is loose at the moment. But basically, what we want to be doing is starting with the um, tapered end. I say tapered, well, not tapered end, but sewn over end. Um, basically on the inside of the boot again this is the right boot on the inside and we want to be working clockwise for the right boot clockwise so put that down just a sec fold this over starting on this side we are working clockwise so pinch it there and we are working round keeping it tight grip as we can trying to keep it level if you get a little bit excess just fold it in when you go around the next time you might get a little bit of bagginess but you can always sort that out and basically what you want to be ending with is the point and you want to be making sure that the sewn end is on the inside so where like the cloth has been folded over and sewn, you want that on the inside. Where the tape is attached, you want that on the outside. And making sure when you've worked 
clockwise on the right boot and you want the point facing backwards so like that basically neaten that and then you get the tape and then you wrap round a couple times as long as the tape is you can cut this shorter if you wish i probably will on these pair this isn't my usual pair but wrapping that round and then you have your last excess and you want to tie this off whatever method suits you really my preferred method is get a little bit of slack from the previous wrap round fold it under try to keep it as flat as possible folding it under back over round and making it almost like a tie so you have this little bit of excess here for show you a little bit of excess there passing it under and then back through so you have like a little tie off end now and this will knot as accordingly so you can pull that taut and it will knot itself round if you get a bit more lump you can have it more flush this is the quickest way taut that round that's all tied off now back to the end and then tuck the excess in wherever you see fit and now that is the most usual way i've seen these put on very quick very simple um i personally don't like this way because i find your trouser leg is easy pulled up when kneeling down when squatting whatever it may be but once you stand up like here you can blouse the boot and blouse the trouser over the putty have quite a nice effect like so and that looks quite smart to be honest with you. and it is good it's the quickest way but it's the most inefficient way i personally think think i should say not think so yeah that's that way now for the left boot so basically similar thing however we are now introducing these these are called twist ties so you might have seen these before they're still used today very very effective basically piece of wrapped around elastic with two hooks on each end simple as basically these are used to blouse the trouser leg <coughs> so excuse me so i've seen this done in pictures as well as the way i've been taught so unlike with the right boot for this boot we'll be getting the trouser leg out the way <coughs> same method again this time we'll have a little bit less denseness to work with because we're not wrapping around the trouser leg this time but we will be going a little bit further in on this one so we have less excess on the other side wrapping around keeping it tight as best you can I'm trying to keep it square as possible sorry about the noises i'm making leaning over it's not the best any excess I'm trying to pull the taut and then ending up with it back right here wrap that around a bit there we go so it should end up like that again the trouser leg is staying away from the putty this time so again like before wrap it round and tie it off hopefully you can see this maybe a bit better on this one again the way i'm tying it off a little bit of excess under back over and then wrapping it round back under again and basically tying it off like you would a necktie in the way so a little bit of excess there passing that through here and then pulling that taut and then you can just pull this round and then get it nice and tight and then just tuck that in wherever you see fit i tuck it in there because it's the easiest way because when you blouse over you don't see as much especially with this method so next unlike before as i said we now introduce the twist tie so the twist tie is immediately hooked round simple as round there simple as that now let me get some excess and we are now blousing basically where the hem is on the trouser if you have one for example depending on the length of the trouser but generally you will have a hem that is as much you want going underneath it gives you the most movement and it doesn't snag as much so using the hem as a guide to basically blouse underneath the twisty or twist tie whatever you may call it so like that and then that gives you a more secure way because basically the, the idea of the putty is to keep stuff out of the boot 
<clears throat> it doesn't necessarily keep stuff out the trouser because stuff's going to get in the trousers if it's wetness or whatever. But mainly, it keeps stuff out the boot, keeps the boot tight to your leg. The putty is making your ankle boot more of a high leg or semi-high leg. But the twist tie just allows a bit more free freedom of movement and doesn't mean the putty is being brought off the boot with the pull of the trouser. So hopefully that has uh, answered a few questions. Um, so yeah, so if you can see for yourself how they sort of sit, obviously you can see more of the putty with this method because the trouser is more in, inside. You can pull the trouser higher if need be and then allow for more blousing. For example, if I try this here, like so, like that, which is nice. Yes, one is some, somewhat smarter than the other, but I still think, because you can blouse this um, to any which point on the higher part of the putty, um, or lower, or whatever it may be, I just find this the more effective way. If it was, say, the 19, like, portraying the 1960s, I would use this method. Um, mid, late 70s onwards, this is the preferred method for me. Um, just because it's easier, it's more comfortable, but historically, this method is probably more... 1960s early 70s kind of thing but you still see anklets being worn or gaiters um, up until the early 70s depending on the theatre so but there hopefully that was um helpful for people uh if you any more comments or any more ideas what should show next please comment down below and thank you guys for watching really appreciate it and hopefully that's helped a few of you guys out um if you want some closer pictures i will try and do that as well in the future but anyway thank you guys really really appreciate it and um Bye for now.